Hey guys, today I'd like to show you a very cool survival gadget that I made from mostly trash laser copiers that I found at the dump while living in the Bahamas. This very bright spotlight LED and super capacitor crank generator is ideal for exploring underground caverns, camping, or just having on hand for emergencies. Unlike many inexpensive similar devices sold online, this one is made to last. First let me explain in detail how I made it, show you the schematic, then take it outside to show you how well it works. Okay, let me spin it around first just to show you all of it, and then I'll explain how I put it together. See all the gears. That disc. All right. Now, when I went to the dump, I found a printer, actually two of them, and you can see this plate right here it was not that size. It was very, very large. It was like L-shaped. So I cut it and made it what you see right here. Let me show you a better angle. You can see right here, this is rounded off. This stepper motor was not in this position. You can see the original holes where it was screwed into another motor. There was a shaft here with a gear, but the stepper motor was in a completely different spot. So I wanted to make this really compact and stepper motors work as a crank generator. They don't have a super high power output, but you can use them. And the good thing about stepper motors, you don't have to spin them too fast to produce current, and they are fairly quiet. This one here is a six pin stepper motor. Stepper motors have a permanent magnet rotor and a bunch of windings that wrap around the outside edge. And you can see that right here in this image. Now let's take a closer look at the gears. You can see right there that there's this gear and one above it. Both of these gears were always in this position. So what I needed to do was get good leverage when I went to crank this to rotate the stepper motor. And what I ended up doing was making this plate, you can see at the bottom, cut it out of sheet metal, drilled a hole for the handle, Right here is nothing more than a piece of plastic with silicone lubricant under it. Gives me a very good grip. And right over here is a washer with a spring clip. I have four bolts drilled straight through. There's a nut and washer on the back side of this gear. As a result of adding that disc, it's now extremely easy to rotate this handle, to turn the stepper motor, to produce current, to drive the LED light, and charge the supercapacitor. For every one revolution of this large disc on top, you will have eight revolutions at the stepper motor. The way this is set up, you do not have to kill yourself turning this handle to produce a very bright output at the LED spotlight. And it draws around six or 700 milliamps of current designed to operate using AC, alternating current, or DC direct current. And that light is extremely bright as you're going to see in a few minutes. Here you can see the supercapacitor. It's an 11 volt, one farad. Right here is a Radio Shack project box. All the circuitry is inside here. If you're wondering what it looks like, you can see it right here in this image. The way this works, you would hold it in your hand just like this. Then you would turn this handle. And believe it or not, that rate that I just showed you is all that you need to have a really bright output coming off that light. As you're cranking, you're going to be charging the supercapacitor. And I added an indicator right over here. You can see it's on a little bit, the red glow. And that's an indication of when to stop cranking because you don't want to overcharge supercapacitors because you'll end up shortening the life of the supercapacitor. The way I have it set up, once you see the LED start to turn on, that's right around 10.25 volts, and it's a little bit dim. You crank it a little bit more, the LED becomes bright, and you know you're between 11 and 11 and a half volts, and you can stop cranking. At that point, it doesn't make a difference if that red LED remains on for a while. It only draws around two milliamps of current, very, very little, and it would take a long time to discharge this capacitor with just that LED alone. All right, so what I'm gonna do is discharge very bright. It's 
discharge some of it. Let's turn it off. And now you can see right here is where the LED is. Let me crank it. And you can see we're at a full charge. And it was simple as that. And that's the way she works. The good thing about this setup is that you're not always cranking to produce a light output. All it takes is a few seconds of cranking once every minute to bring the light back to full intensity. Let me quickly show you the difference between 4-wire, 6-wire, and 8-wire stepper motors. Over here you can see phase A and phase B, two sets of windings. You can see there's a center tap, but it does not make it outside of the stepper motor. So you only have two wires leaving here and two wires from this phase. When you look at the connector, the four pins, two on the left is phase A, two on the right, phase B. The one that I use for my project is this one right here, six wire. Set up the same way, you have two phases, phase A, phase B. You can see there's a center tap though, right on this phase and in this phase right here. There's six pins. The first wire is one of the ends, the middle is the center tap, and the other side is the other side of the phase. This phase here, same way, opposite ends, this pin here, and that pin there, the center one, is the center tap. An eight wire stepper motor is just like the six, but you see over here we have the wires twisted together with the center tap coming out. Over here you don't have that, they actually separated this side of the winding and that side. You can twist these together and make a center tap, just like a six wire. But they left them separate, so you have all four here and all four on this phase. So for one of the phases, you can see that's the beginning of the winding, one side. The fourth one in would be this side. And if you want to use the full winding, you would jumper this. And then you would do the same thing on this side jumper those. Now you made the tap and you can have the full winding on this side. Alright, this is the schematic for my crank generator. You can see phase A, phase B as previously shown. It's a six pin stepper motor. I'm using pin one, pin three for phase A, pin four and pin six for phase B. The empty space here and there, that's there and there, is not used. And you can see I have a full wave bridge rectifier up here as well as over there. Both use 1N5821 shock key diodes. The purpose of using those diodes is to get the most amount of power out of that stepper motor to keep the losses as low as possible. Forward voltage drop on a typical diode is around 0.6 volts. With these diodes it's only around 0.1 volts. This phase here outputs around 500 milliamps. This one here also 500 milliamps. You can see the positive here is connected to the positive of this full wave bridge rectifier. The combined outputs of both phases then goes into this 11 volt, one farad supercapacitor. Over here you have a quarter watt 1K resistor and the current flows through there into a 9.1 volt, one watt Zener diode. And you can see the purpose of this is once the voltage gets high enough on this supercapacitor, current will be allowed to flow through, turning on the red epoxy LED. Do not use water clear. It does not turn on fairly quickly. It goes on gradually, and it's very hard to judge when the capacitor is fully charged. Over here at the positive of the supercapacitor, you can see it flows down this way, and it goes into the push on, push off switch. And all the push on, push off switch does is disconnect power from that MR16 LED spotlight, which is 12 volts. If this was left in the on position, then as you're cranking, you're going to charge the supercapacitor and the light will start coming on at the same time. The more you crank, the charge will get higher in the supercapacitor and the light will get brighter. Super bright. You don't have to crank it that fast. It works incredible. They go faster, and I can stop. 
Crank it again. Hey, baby. As you just saw, it works extremely well. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to rate thumbs up, subscribe, and most importantly, share this video with many others. Thank you very much for watching.